Hello and welcome to the mid-month check-in for the sign of Libra. I hope everybody's doing well. Thank you so much for being with me today. All right, Libra. In meditation, I heard it's time to get organized. Change is afoot. Several things are falling into place almost simultaneously, so be prepared. The vision I was shown was dominoes falling. You know how they work, how they go. <laughs> um, so maybe one thing leads to another, leads to another. So Libra, it's time to get prepared. So let's see what this is all about. Let's get some overarching energies and we will unfold this story for you. Spirit, what do you have for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for mid-April? Okay, well, this tells me that your energy is going to be maybe a little scattered. You've got a lot going on. I'm looking at these turbulent waters and, um, you know, all these puzzle pieces. It could be that there's a lot to do. Sometimes I look at this as being very busy. So let's see what we have. What does Libra need to know, Spirit? Remember, this energy can apply to someone in your life. So take that as it resonates. Anything else for Libra? Oh, wow. Speaking of turbulent waters. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Libra. Bottom of the deck. Hidden motivations. Okay, we have hostilities woman holding a heart, friends and colleagues, conflict. Hmm. Um, I feel like you are center to a situation and, and it could be a situation involving several people, but you are like center to a situation and maybe you feel as though it is your responsibility, perhaps, to help iron something out. And I'm, I'm wondering and, and hearing, um, you might need to rethink that obligation or that responsibility. Maybe it's not yours. I'm almost getting that you're putting yourself in a neutral zone and, and it could just be that things are a little bit chaotic. This could very well be a work situation with colleagues and you're kind of stepping back like, I, I don't, I don't want to go there. I need to, you know, keep myself in this neutral place and you guys work out your chaos. Now, if something is about to shift at work, that could be what this domino effect is. It could be that you are needed as kind of a mediator in a situation. I could be reaching somebody who's, you know, um, HR manager or something like that, and you've got to step in and, you know, shed a little light on something or help people work through some differences in the workplace. I think it's bigger than that, though. So hidden motivation. There it is. Fragmented energy. Hidden motivations. The thinking woman. Great achievement community. Yeah, definitely a lot of people. Um, it's interesting because I'm, I'm kind of looking at this woman holding a heart and it doesn't matter what your gender is, but it feels to me like this is, this energy right here is in a bubble. This energy right here is super protected from the chaos that is ensuing, you know, outside of that bubble. Okay. Well, let's unfold this story, Libra, and find out what you need to know. Let's look at the journey of the soul. What is happening in this situation for Libra? Okay, we have pivotal choices, life-changing decisions, taking the plunge. Life won't be the same. I thought we might see this. Reset, reset. Um, and it could be that you're just um, extricating yourself from something 
that feels incongruent with your your life, your plans. Maybe this even involves some situations with other people that are resolving it. It's like it's resolving itself because you're choosing to put yourself in a bubble or to, to move on from it, to walk away from it. Now, this is interesting. If this is happening in a romantic connection, it could be that this is coming through to indicate um, a lot of love for someone. You, them, or them, you. We have lifetimes. Correlation to the past, soul origin, past life recollection. This could also be a past life energy, uh, a connection with someone that is very deeply rooted in past lives. We have 5D. Meeting in your dreams, telepathy, astral travel. What is going on? Bottom of the deck, arrival, closure, ticking clock. This feels like the dominoes. And there may be some things you don't see coming regarding this situation. So let's break out the tarot. Uh, which deck do I want to use? Okay. Ten of Cups. Wow. That's a nice energy to begin with, especially because we see this. <laughs> I don't know what the domino was are for, but you know, it could be that something, uh, someone else is putting something into motion. You, the bubble I was seeing could be you being kind of protected from the chaos that's ensuing outside of your relationship or something like that. And, um, and you end up seeing uh, the results of that and maybe are being asked to take action in some respect. And so you have to think on your toes. Yeah, hanged man reverse. I'm, I'm getting that this is about putting something into motion. Wow, the devil. Woo! Okay, that fell on the floor. The Hierophant. Look at the major arcana. Oh my gosh. The Empress. Good grief, Libra. The King of Pentacles. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Judgment, the Seven of Swords, the Knight of Swords. Okay, something is happening around you. And there's that, like, the Hermit energy feels to me like you are completely protected from this. It's almost like the Divine is saying, um, you don't belong in this chaotic kind of environment. You know, for some of you, there there is some sort of um, situation you find yourself in and maybe you've committed to that thing maybe it's a job and y you find yourself like not wanting to put forth any effort into it it's it's I don't know again I could be picking up someone you're connecting with or a situation that you're in I'm, I'm feeling as though whatever you're looking at, whatever you're observing, um, you have very little to do with what is happening. But once you are brought into the loop or <laughs> the fray, then you may realize, okay, I have to do this, this, this. You know, and maybe it's, you know, having a, a conversation, confronting something. Maybe this is, you know, I don't, I don't know if I want to be involved in this. This doesn't work for me. I want to, I want to embark on something new. This could be a creative endeavor. This could be something related to a relationship. But I feel like the Knight of Pentacles in reverse this is like, I, I don't want to bother with that. I don't want to, 
I don't want to be involved in it. I'm, I'm in a bubble and I'm not engaging in whatever doesn't feel right. Like I'm cutting myself loose from this. It doesn't work for me. And it feels like pretty big energy. Yeah, especially, especially with judgment and the seven of swords. I mean, I'm, I'm just seeing some unhealthy vibes around whatever it is and your decision is out of like self-protection and you know to put yourself in a better place now if somebody else is knocking over those dominoes then you might be you know part of a bigger picture here and you're like okay well then i guess that's my answer i'm going to regroup so there is something you have to be prepared for with this. Let's get some clarifiers. The hanged man in reverse. What is Libra being shown? Wow, geez, guys. We have the Hierophant. No nothingness in this deck. Wiping the slate clean. Freeing yourself, perhaps, from something that is... Um, not serving you or not part of a long-term plan or goal. If this is someone who is experiencing this, it could be that they are freeing themselves, understanding it's not going anywhere. I can't do anything about this. You might be a person who is involved with someone who's in such a messy situation that um, th th they're needing to bubble or escape it, right? Then we have the Nine of Swords, Sorrow. I don't doubt that there's something difficult going on, but, you know, when we can let go of that gripping feeling that we can't do something about a negative situation and we just, we pivot, you know, we, we do something to step back or get away from it, then we can, we can kind of solve it. So it sounds to me like you're at this crossroads with this two of wands, possibilities energy. I want to look at the, the devil energy and find out what's going on there. Strong earth energy happening here. Courage, patience. A lot of signs have been getting this. I almost feel like you have felt like you've been at an impasse in a situation. It could be a relationship, a friendship, and um, you have you have waited for the seeds you have sowed in this particular situation to either come to fruition or to change in some way. And, um, you know, I'm kind of getting, you know, it's, it's long past its due date, whatever you've been waiting for. If this is leaving a situation, it's like, okay, what do I have to do to, to prepare myself for this? If somebody else is doing this, you may or may not know they're, they're planning this. What is the Hierophant? Wow, they're coming out in twos. Okay, we have totality. This has been coming out also. This is the five of wands energy. I picked it up in reverse, um, but I don't, I don't read this deck in reverse unless they tell me. So it could be that there is some conflict with other people. This is my who do I trust to have my back? If I let go, will you catch me card? Am I in? Am I all in? It begs that question. So if this is about, you know, the people you're committed to, connected to, maybe even family, oddly, um, it, there could be some family conflict happening. Wheel of Fortune, change. Let's look at the Empress. Wow, they're just flying out. The Five of Cups clinging to the past. I just saw the devil peek out of this deck. 
it's called conditioning in this deck and it's it's about what we believe what has been programmed that feels wrong or false going with the flow this is the change this is this is what's happening and i think you're either needing to roll with it or you are awaiting perhaps some sort of decision by other people it could be whatever this is that you have um, regrets about or you know challenging emotions about five of cups it needs to be washed clean and I'm kind of getting that look at the difference in these images going with the flow it's like you can keep yourself boxed into this collection of challenging things without the ability to see past it or you can literally look at how free this floating figure is in this what appears to be water of course um, I'm not tethered I am not encumbered I am completely like free of this that's the bubble I was picking up on and you may be doing that while the change around you is chaotic you're like I I am I'm good like I'm in a good place so you might be um, focused on your stability and saying I'm not gonna bother with whatever this kind of chaos is around me I, d I don't want I don't want to deal <laughs> yeah bottom of the deck suppression ten of ten of wands I don't want to deal with this you guys go ahead and argue fight self-sabotage and drive each other crazy and I'm good Knight of Pentacles in reverse the two of cups well if this is friends if this is a close relationship you know it's clarifying the Knight of Pentacles in reverse it could be a relationship that someone chooses not to move forward with not to bother with um, or this could represent someone who's there to say listen in the scheme of things I'm here um, open-hearted open-minded loving and I can I can help support you through whatever this is let's get one more so this could be relationships being left behind friendships left behind this can be a loving supportive connection that comes in to change this three of cups yep friends I want one more because now we have a lot of people showing up but it's clarifying the card that is about um, I'm I'm idle I am I've come to this stop sign and I'm not going to proceed Knight of Pentacles reverse compromise whatever negotiation is happening between you and other people um, or someone else and the people they're dealing with I feel like there has been a stuckness that has happened and you know one person or one situation starts that first domino just tumbling but what does it mean for you specifically Libra okay I'm asking I'm getting get a different deck what does this mean for you what does this put into motion for you come to the edge flexible okay pivot you're gonna have to pivot quickly come to the edges there is something that might feel um, you know perhaps risky there is something that requires um, you take a chance maybe it's someone taking a chance um, in their life taking a chance on you that fragmented energy is really about being busy and needing to kind of you know turn on a dime flexibility is when we have to let go of any rigidity around our plans our our ideas because something comes in to kind of throw us for a loop 
Oh my gosh. Okay, we have Go the Distance, Unfinished Symphony. Hmm. I don't read these in reverse either. I read more intuitively than in a standard way. If you haven't figured that out, we have time to go. Um, there is something that puts you into motion. Now, go the distance could literally be uh, travel. Go the distance. I'm looking at this black and white goal flag. It's almost. It's like you're almost there. There's something you've wanted to accomplish. And you know, maybe maybe your symphony is just about done. You have created um, a path, an idea, or a vision for something. And now, maybe because of the actions of others, it's happening and it's happening now. So with time to go, that feels, I mean, look at how you're putting things into motion here or it's happening around you and you have to respond to that. Okay, so let's see what Spirit's advice is about this. Your perfect place. The life you have imagined is yours. Relationship, home, finances, and joyful pursuits are coming into alignment. pennies from heaven. An unexpected windfall is out of the way, seemingly out of nowhere. I, I mean, I see the king of pentacles here. I see creativity happening here. You know, if, if there is something you've been waiting on, it comes to you and maybe allows you to pivot. We have doing what's right. Demonstrate accountability, integrity, and strong character however uncomfortable. This could be the people around you. This could be you saying, I, I don't want to be involved in that, whatever that is. This is cryptic. It's kind of cool. Let's see what else for the Libra Collective Spirit. Anything else? Any other guidance? Answered prayers. Your desires are manifesting. You are co-creating with spirit. I almost feel like you have taken a certain matter into your own hands. I'm feeling also like your, your friendships, your work situation, something doesn't feel resonant for you anymore. Like you have, you have put something, um, you have manifested a plan. Thank you, Spirit. You have, you have manifested a plan that maybe has taken a long time to come to fruition. But it, it's coming. I mean, look at this. Door opening. An opportunity is coming. Preparation planning may be needed. Yep, so Spirit said be prepared. It may come to you when you least expect it. Okay, wow, this is kind of cool. Um, so I feel like I'm reaching a group of Librans who um, you have sort of, I don't know, like I'm, I'm kind of getting that bubble image, like you have um, protected yourself from, you know, external influences or something like that. like. If, if this is about um, a toxic work environment, challenging friendships, because I feel like it's a little bit of everything. There's, there's some chaos. And I feel like you pulled back from all of that in order to you know chart a course for yourself that puts you right where you need to be. And you have worked through some real junk <laughs> in this, right? Um, yeah, you've worked with, you've worked with, maybe you've worked with some people who were um, really challenging coworkers, bosses, and I, I feel like this energy feels to me like what is being considered? Do I keep myself in, in this confusing and challenging 
energy or do I just move forward? And, you know, whether that is, again, you or someone in your environment, I feel like the decision presents itself pretty clearly and pretty easily. And then boom, you've got to pivot and move. So if this is happening in the life of someone you're connected with, I'm going to say be prepared because they may um, arrive when you least expect it. They may do something that then requires you to make some big decisions about your life. Don't lose sight of your own goal. I'm, I'm guided to say that. Keep your goals, you know, within focus, like right in front of you. Because for some of you, this could be some weird diversion and you may say, I'm not going back there. I'm not doing that. Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you for mid-month. Thank you for being here. I hope this was helpful. Take care.